Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Daytime Star, episode 49 and 50. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur the each episode with my cat logo and other sensor and other blurs for 50% of each episode. So you guys do want to read along with me, it is available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who is interested in my early access, uncensored, no blur, uh, content. It is available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. I do have a free trial for everyone out there for my tier 2 and tier 3. They do, uh, the price do vary, so if that is something up your alley, it is available there and I will drop the link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. It's been so long since I read it, so I don't remember what happened. Hey, I'm telling you, it's true. Okay, okay, sorry. Aren't we just... Aren't we getting on just fine? Huh? Yeah, I get it. You're a pro. Well, I'm not the least affected either. Hey, Yura, feeling better? Hey, gang. Yes, thanks to you. <laughs> What did I tell you? I'm a master at pricking fingers. <laughs> yep. Hey, are you headed to your next schedule? Yeah, but I have some time to kill, so I thought I'll stick around for your scene and say bye to everyone else before I leave. But my scene might take hours. No way! Xin Yun's a total pro, and I know you're how talented you are too. Otherwise, I'll leave if I have to. Uh oh. Have you sweat? You have sweat on your forehead. Huh? You must be boiling in the winter. Get up on a day like this. Here, let me. Uh, uh, th that's okay. I'll just wipe it off when I get, go get touched up. Uh, he's jealous. See you, you scared me. Sorry. Doesn't Xingyun seem a bit off today? Maybe it's because of the article. Huh? Daytime Star, episode 49. Okay, these are the directions. Walk in through those doors all the way to, the, to this mark with your arms linked. Then begin your lines. Look friendly and cheerful, all right? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Jiu-nu. You, you, Yoon, ready. Uh, what are you, a bride? Uh, I was gonna link our arms. You just didn't give me a chance. <laughs> Action. I was worried about having to shoot the scene as brother and sister. Right after our big fight, but... Whoa. Sin Yoon's was a star for a reason. Not only did he manage to act his part perfectly, but he also knew how to help others naturally fall into character. I was still angry at him for what he did, but as an actor, I couldn't help being awed by him. Cut! That was great! If all goes well, we might be able to finish early today. Let's take ten and come back to this. <sighs> Wait, sir. Can we go one more time? I wasn't quite satisfied with our last take. Huh? Mmm, but it was perfect. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. Well, if you're not satisfied, I guess we can go again. Thank you. What was the problem? I guess he can se sense what others are missing. It must be his attention to detail that sets him apart from the rest of us. All right, then count me in. Sorry, let's go again. Huh? Can we go again? Huh? Again. Um, sir. Again. Can we go one more time? What in the world is your problem? This, uh, I never seen him act this way. Every cut seems perfect. What's he talking about? Kang. We better leave if we don't want to be late. Oh. Oh, poor Kang. I guess he was. He has to leave. 
Sir? Another take again? Something kept bothering me, but now I'm fully satisfied. Let's go with the last take. Oh my gosh! Uh, 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 okay. Wait a minute. Then, then let's take a break before the next scene. Did he ask for all those retakes just to get rid of Kang? You did that on purpose, didn't you? Did what? Ask for multiple retakes of a scene that was already perfect. You wanted to make it last longer because you heard Kang say he'll wait for me until we finish a scene. Am I wrong? Why are you asking me if I'm a, if you already know the answer? <sighs> I thought you might have done it on purpose, but don't you think you went a bit overboard? How could you just do that after you just told me all for being suspicious and not trusting you? That's not the same. You're right. This is even worse. I thought you left because you didn't want to fight. I'm just shocked. It's not like we were going to go anywhere together afterward. What made you suspicious enough to delay the, the whole crew? It's not that I was suspicious. I just don't like the boy. What did he do? He just gets on my nerves. Don't put the blame on him when it's me you're angry with. You even got mad just because I went to sit with him at, a, at the buffet. Why? So why did you have to go sit with him? He's not a baby. He doesn't need you to look after him. Ugh. Gosh, I had no idea you were so petty. Especially when you're the one who bought someone else a necklace. Miss Monsieur Wayne. Why miss all of a sudden? Yes, Sion? Be? Uh, you might want to cool down a bit. If you don't want to be too embarrassed later on. What? What's that supposed to mean? To be continued. Miss Yura Huang, you might want to cool down a bit. If you don't want to be too embarrassed later on. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, hey. There you are, Siyun Yun. Oh, you were with Yura. <laughs> we were just practicing our lines together. Hey, then why didn't you call me too? Oh, by the way, Siyun Yun. Here. I just don't think I can accept this necklace. What? In the world is she talking about? That's already been discussed with the company and has nothing to do with me anymore. Just keep it. Oh, really? Hmm. Then I guess I'll just have to buy it from Mr. Mun. I'll make, it'll make me feel be a little better about it. After all, it's my fault the whole thing got so out of hand. Oh, you didn't get into a fight with your girlfriend because of it, did you? There's no way we'll fight over something like that. We trust each other too much. <sighs> Mr. Kang, the director would like to see you. Okay, I'll be right there. Wait, let's get this straight. So it looks like the necklace was a gift from the company after all and not from him personally. Then it really was for her five-year debut anniversary. What the heck is going on? Yura, you look a little pale. Is everything okay? Huh? Uh, oh, everything's fine. Oh, you didn't think Suyun and I were together, did you? Huh? No, absolutely not. Oh, thank God. I saw the comment section and it looks like everyone now thinks we're a couple. They're already going out if... They're already going out if he's buying her a gift for her five-year anniversary. <laughs> Great excuse, lol. Does everyone in MNK get a necklace? It would be weirder if he gave her such an expensive necklace when she's not even his girlfriend. I bet Jenna Song herself had no idea it was her five-year anniversary. They look so cute together, though. You all believe this? I bet this is just a publicity stunt for their new drama. <laughs> oh no. That got me worried. I didn't want his girlfriend to get that wrong idea. But I'm glad they didn't fight because of it. <laughs> Sorry, but they did very brutally.
Sorry, but they did, very brutally. Um, may I ask what really did happen? Oh, the truth is I followed him when he was buying a present for his girlfriend. I only met, meant to help him so he wouldn't get caught on camera buying jewelry, but I just made things worse. What? I know, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I wouldn't even buy the debut anniversary gift story if it were, it were me too. I guess I got carried away because I wanted to become friends with him. So... He even told me to keep this necklace because he said his girlfriend gifts had to be something he picked out himself. Isn't that just so romantic? This all happened because he was trying to buy me a birthday present? I'm so jealous of her, whoever she is. <laughs> then... I told you that was nothing. Don't get the wrong idea. That... I had my reasons. And that... Can you just trust me? And everything in between was all because he wanted to surprise me on my birthday. Oh. Daytime Star, episode 50. Aren't you going to get that? I can't. Can't you just pick it up? I really can't. You can't hide from him forever. Just pick up the phone. Yes, Yura, why don't you just talk to Siyun? Uh, I just don't know what to say to him. Why couldn't you two just have told me when you knew all along? How could you just do this to me? Sorry, we didn't want to interfere with Siyun was keeping quiet about it. But still, if you had just given me a hint, the situation wouldn't have become so horribly messed up. So just tell that to Siyun. I understand what you're feeling, Yura. I almost fainted myself when he told me to buy that necklace out of the company's pocket. I have no reason to buy that for Jinna Song. Then why the heck did you buy it in the first place? The necklace wasn't cheap, and then that photograph ended up getting plastered all over the internet. Just wait till I get my hands on them. Hey, hey, calm down. <laughs> Jenna said that she'll pay for the necklace herself. Think of it as a publicity for the drama. Anyway, now that things have cleared up, you should really talk to him. Hiding isn't going to solve the problem. Things may have cleared up, but it, I'm still upset that he didn't tell me sooner. Not to mention, I feel sorry, embarrassed, and regretful that I didn't trust him. I just don't know what to say to him. Look, 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 look. Oh. Phew. Oh. Come on, you two. Raise your glasses. Uh, okay. Cheers. <laughs> to love. To friendship. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Here's what I'm saying. Sion Bay always leaves out some very important details when he talks. This isn't the first time. For instance, he'll leave out the subject of a sentence or a really important premise. That's why I always end up getting the wrong idea. Am I right? I mean, why do you have to prepare a surprise for my birthday in the first place? Wasn't that Siyun who just walked past? Over there in the corner. What? Where? You can't see because of the chairs. Is that really him? Are you sure? <gasps> I must be drunk. I'm seeing Jin Yoon and M Mr. Mun's face at Seon Bay's. Or am I dreaming? You're not seeing things, and you're not in a dream. Uh-oh. Really? You don't have to prepare my any surprises for my birthday. Nice work, Yura. Because even without them, you had to make me come all the way over here. I find you completely unpredictable. To be continued? She is in trouble. Oh, I wonder what she's gonna, what he's gonna say, because obviously now he should know that she knows that he got her a gift for her birthday. But man. Oh, okay. It's a really good read here. 
All right, guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and of like how you guys feel about this, these two episodes. But I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!